Is a guaranteed minimum income just money for nothing? By Charles Lane published in Washington Post on June 22, 2016. By an overwhelming 3 to 1 margin, Swiss voters have rejected a proposal that would have guaranteed all residents a monthly income, whether they worked or not. Yet supporters of the concept elsewhere are not taking the Swiss no for an answer. Frequently proposed in the past, guaranteed income for all is back in vogue because of fears that robots and artificial intelligence threaten whole categories of jobs, especially for less skilled workers, and that any remaining jobs will be unstable gigs. Mass poverty and inequality loom. Economists' usual prescription is greater investment in education and training, to equip people for high-paying work. The guaranteed income movement says it's smarter and simpler to separate subsistence from labor. Backers span the ideological spectrum, Andy Stern, uber-liberal former president of the Service Employees International Union, cites straightforward social justice arguments, as the title of his new book, Raising the Floor, suggests. Small government conservative Charles Murray says a guaranteed income would streamline the welfare state and clearly define society's minimum, and maximum, obligations to the less fortunate. Oakland, California, and Finland may soon see experimental guaranteed income programs.